new show, new hat. Hope you all are ready for House of the Dragon because I have been so excited to watch this ever since it was first announced. And since I had watched Game of Thrones before this channel, if you didn't already know my feelings on that show, I love it. And obviously the topic of contention is season eight. And while season eight isn't my favorite season of the show by any means or anything like that, it didn't ruin my life in the way that it seems it has for some people and so even though the Game of Thrones fandom has seen some ups and downs over the past few years my hype for this show has remained pretty high and as far as plot details go as usual I've avoided trailers or any promotional materials or anything like that but I do know that the show takes place 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones and as far as I know it's centered around the Targaryens which is kind of obvious if the show is called the House of the Dragon then it only makes makes sense for the Targaryens to be involved, but I am interested if we're ever going to see I believe if my memory is correct, his name's Aegon Targaryen, the one where we only got a few seconds of him in Game of Thrones during one of Bran's visions. I am curious to see if they bring back that actor for the role because I would assume he's somewhat involved in this story if the timelines are right, but he also could have been closer to the events of Game of Thrones and my chronology is a little bit mixed up, but nonetheless, really excited for this show. Hope you enjoy watching along with me for this one if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the videos out and as always the full length reactions where you can watch along with me for the entire episodes will be up on patreon shortly after the episodes air and the link for that will be down in the description below but without further ado let's go ahead and start house of the dragon as the first century of the targaryen dynasty came to a close the health of the old king jaehaerys was failing already a name i recognize house targaryen stood at the height of it strength, with ten adult dragons under its yoke. King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly 60 years of peace and prosperity. Production levels off the charts already. Fourteen succession claims were heard, but only two were truly considered. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen. Okay, I remember Viserys' name. This intro feels very Lord of the Rings with the narration. The Prince Viserys Targaryen a woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Love that familiar theme coming in. I guess that's why I've heard his name before, because he became king. Jaehaerys called the Great Council to prevent a war being fought, for he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself. Oh, fantastic intro. I'm so excited for this. Looks like they've definitely maintained the scale and the quality of the visuals and everything like that, which I'm happy about. Okay, there we go. So his name is mentioned. That's a long time before him, though, so I doubt we'd actually see him. But who knows? We could do some time jumps eventually catch up. So cool, don't have to wait seasons of the show in order to see dragons this time. Bro, it's wild seeing all these familiar landscapes. <laughs> Whoa, that is wild. She looks so similar to Danny. Is she the one who was narrating? That's almost large enough to settle too. I believe I'm quite content as a spectator. Thank you. I ought so insane what they can do with TV shows now. Just for that scene alone would have been like an entire season's budget back in the day. Dude, these set pieces are so cool. I really hope this show does well and goes in a cool direction because I'm so down for many more seasons in the Game of Thrones universe. You know I don't like you to go flying while I'm in this condition. You don't like me to go flying while you're in any condition. You 
will I in this bed soon enough for an error. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. Hey, your respect, she's got big aspirations. The child bed is our battlefield. We must learn to face it with a stiff lip. Now take a bath, you stink of dragon. Definitely very different from Daenerys' days with how the women of the realm were treated or expected to be treated. I would urge that you not allow this triarchy much latitude in the Stepstones, Your Grace. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. The Crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. I like Lord Corliss's whole vibe. He's got a cool aura about him. Feels like he can handle himself. These things are mere estimations, my king, but we feel that our forecast is as accurate as it can be. Negligible. Perhaps we might delay until the child is in hand. Very interesting shot right there with him refusing more wine. Wants to keep his wits about him. There's a boy in the Queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand-wringing to rest himself. Not sure she's a fan of talking like that. God be good. It's alright, sir. What a sight. I have missed the Iron Throne. And there's a whole lot more iron this time. This guy looks kind of mysterious. I feel like I recognize the actor. I bought you something. I absolutely do know that actor. Isn't he one of the Doctor Who's? I definitely know him from some other things. Now, you and I both own a small piece of our ancestry. Give you. At least that interaction wasn't as incestuous as the first episode of Game of Thrones. Is it healing? It has grown slightly, Your Grace. Can you say yet what it is? The king has been under heavy stresses preparing for the birth. Bad humors of the mind can adversely affect the body. We're not already going to lose a king, are we? Doesn't look good. Cauterization would be a wise course of treatment, Your Grace. It will be painful. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe it's not as serious of an injury as I thought, if they can just fix it like that. It's tepid. It's as warm as the maesters will allow. Don't they know dragons prefer heat? After this miserable pregnancy, I wouldn't be surprised if I hatched an actual dragon. <laughs> and he will be loved and cherished. The more dragons, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Love the lighting in here, though. This child is a boy, Emma. I'm certain of it. The dream was clearer than a memory. Our son was born wearing Egon's iron crown. And I heard the sound of thundering hooves, splintering shields and ringing swords. And I placed our son upon the iron throne. And all the dragons roared as one. Very poetic, man. This is quite the vision he had. Or dream, I guess. This is the last time, Viserys. I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. That's five in twice as many years. Whoa, that is rough. I hope for her sake that this one's successful. I've mourned all the dead children I can. That was a really nice transition right there. We have only stayed with this group here, so maybe this show is just going to take place mostly in King's Landing. When I took command of the watch, you were stray mongrels. Starving and undisciplined. Now! You're a pack of hounds, sated and honed for the hunt. Oh! This guy gives me the creeps, I'm not sure why. And I also remembered, I've seen him recently in Edgar Wright's newest film. It's where I recognized him from. King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. <laughs> Bro, what a shot. They certainly spared no expense for the very first episode. Going all out early. Oh man, this is brutal. This city is absolutely cursed. Constant cycle of brutality. That has got to be the most painful thing possible. Oh, 
Disgusting. Amazing transition, though. Cleaned up the entire town in one night. You are to explain your doings with the city watch. The watch was enforcing the Crown's laws. Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. I think he is ready to do just that if he needs to, or if he wants to, more likely. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife. You've not been seen in the Vale or at Runestone for quite some time. I think my bronze is happier for my absence. Jeez, this guy has some rough qualities. I guess I'm glad he's not king right now. I'd give Lady Rare to you if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed. Your own lady wife passed recently. Perhaps you aren't ready to move on just yet. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. Must you indulge him? <laughs> it's kind of hard not to. I'd be pissed off if I was him too. Seems like he has free reign with his familial ties. Enforce my laws, but understand, any further performances like last night's will be answered. Understood, Your Grace. I think he knows he can keep getting away with it if he wants. Viserys doesn't strike me as the enforcer type. When I look at the fine knights in these lists, I see a group without equal. And this great day has been made more auspicious by the news that I am happy to share. Queen Emma has begun her labor. Oh, I thought he was about to say it was a boy and announce that. This is dope though, that we're actually getting the tournament in this first episode. <laughs> This is awesome. As far as the technical aspects and the production levels has given me everything I've wanted so far. Lord Stokeworth's daughter has promised that young Tarly Squire. Lord Massey's son. They're to be married as soon as he wins his knighthood. I heard that Lady Eleanor is hiding a swollen belly beneath her dress. Man, these are some heavy hits. There's so many names in the Game of Thrones universe, though, that it feels like everything sounds familiar even when it's not. What do you know about the Sir Christian Cole, Sam? Son of Lord Dondarrion Stuart, but other than that, and the fact that he's just unhorsed both of the Baratheon lads, I really couldn't say. Man, even in the past, the Baratheons were taken L's. I'm also very curious if anything in this show is based off George R. R. Martin's writings, or if it's just all new material. Prince of the city will now choose his first opponent! Uh, they're seeming a bit too calm. I feel like it might not go well for him. That is a sick helmet, though, that he has. Taking the man with the rook helmet. Let's hope it was a good choice. Sir Gawain Hightower of Old Town, eldest son of the hand of the king. <laughs> Man's ready for a show. Surely he couldn't lose the first matchup, right? The prince. Five dragons on the day. Is dragons a currency or did he legit just bid five dragons? That is insane. I was getting a feeling he might take the first hit, but he didn't fall off. Oh, bro, that has to be cheating or something. I don't know the rules back then. That poor horse. Okay, the horse is okay, thank goodness. The other dude, the face was a bit messed up. hope that's normal labor sounds and she didn't lose another baby. All attempts to turn the baby have failed. Do something for her! We've given her as much milk of the poppy as we can without risking the child. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. Oh, she might die. I didn't even consider that a possibility. Conflicting though for him, I feel like he'd be all about having a son over his wife. <laughs> The day grows ugly. Ugly! 
Oh, okay, for a second I thought Damon was still in there. I guess he was just doing one match. These knights are as green as summer grass. None have known real war. Their lord sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. <laughs> Dude, that was nasty. Certainly not holding back with the gore. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. To sacrifice one or to lose them both. Oh gosh, that is impossible as he said. As I said before, I think he's going to choose the infant. <laughs> you can save the child. We must either act now or leave it with the gods. Of course it cuts before. It would certainly put a lot more significance on the previous conversation because as she told him, after this, she's done with kids. So if he does ever want a child, I think it means he has to get rid of her, to put it harshly. Editing is excellent. Always has me on the edge of my seat. Mm. Yes. They're going to bring the baby out now. Mm. So he did pick the child over her. That's devastating. She has no idea. I love you. Oh, the way they're shooting this and with the blood, very similar to that other scene with that soldier getting dragged away. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. No, I'm scared of nothing. Don't be scared. They're going to break the paper. Oh man, my heart. Don't tell me they're gonna do this while she's alive. At least put her out of her misery first. Please help me. No, please. No, no, no. Don't be scared. No. Oh my gosh, so many bad things happening. That's so sad. I feel bad for her, especially after all the kids she's already lost. Fitzhaven Tartarian wishes to continue in a contest of arms. Oh, he's got a mace. I really was not expecting this much action in the first episode. This is dope. The sound effects are so crisp. Oh man, this is hard to watch. The birthing sequence at least. Leave it to Game of Thrones to already kill off a seemingly major character. Yield. Yield. I can't believe he gave up. I really thought he was gonna keep fighting, pull some sneaky trick. Gods, he's Dornish. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Already got his eyes set on her. Seems like a pretty powerful dude, so not the worst one to have on your side. Congratulations, your grace. It's gonna be a girl. You have a son. Oh, I really thought it was gonna be a girl and he would just be devastated and cursed by his choice. Wait, what? The son died as well, so he still lost them both? No way. What a turn of events. Man, I really like her character so far. Not easy being a king's daughter, let alone one that he doesn't want. Been waiting a long time to hear that word again. Didn't expect it to be under sad circumstances. And 
this episode has been excellent so far and also I feel like I finally know where I've seen the king before. I feel like he's the reporter in the Bourne Ultimatum. He just looks really different. These recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. The king has an heir. The succession is already set by precedent and by law. Shall we say his name? Damon Targaryen. No way, we cannot allow Damon to be the king. I was just saying earlier, thank goodness he's not. The city watch is fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. Damon should be far away from this court. Damon is my brother, my blood, and he will have his place at my court. Man, I'm already very invested in these characters. They've gotten me attached quick. What are you saying? My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Damon has ambition, yes. But not for the throne. He lacks the patience for it. The gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, your grace. Oh, amazing line right there. I think there's some truth to it. Who else would have a claim? Say her name. The king's firstborn child. Rhaenyra. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. Hey, I don't have a problem with it. She seems like a boss. Cannot agree on an heir, then how can we My expect a My wife and son are dead! I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses! Oh, what delivery. This guy's killing it with his performance. Definitely pretty scary when a king speaks to you like that. How is his grace? Very low, which is why I sent for you. I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. In his chambers? Excuse me? What do you mean by comfort? It better not be what I'm thinking it is. Stop that. You'll be glad of a visitor. You might wear one of your mother's dresses. I guess that answers the question or why she was biting her nails so much before, why they were bloody. She's just stressed out by him. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. It's a nice thing to say to him right now. Probably feels pretty alone, even though he still has his daughter and his brother. I have a report I feel compelled to share. Last night, Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. Don't tell me he got poisoned or something. The gods give just as the gods take away. He toasted Prince Balon to the king's son, styling him the heir for a day. That is cold. I love the way they're cutting back and forth between the scenes. Did you say it? I don't know what you mean. You will address me as your grace or I will have my king's guard cut out your tongue. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way. Oh, well, at least he admitted it better than trying to hide it and lie. Could cost him, though. You chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your whores and your leg spittles. You have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you, and everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. I like this guy a lot, man. He's powerful when he speaks. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal <laughs> well, certainly speak in his mind, geez. Targaryens have always had inner conflict. You're weak, and that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. Not anymore. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. No way, just straight up banishing him. That is ruthless. Lost it all in one stupid move. Your grace. I feel like it's kind of dangerous doing that at the same time though because he may have some loyal followers still in King's Landing here and he'll probably try and come back and fight him. I love the symbolic imagery with that though, getting cut by his own throne. Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. It's greatness and it's flaws. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? That thing looks so intimidating. I can't imagine what that would have looked like when it was alive. I suppose I see us. Tell me. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men, but they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. Oh, he likes that answer, I think. I hope he chooses her as the heir. 
Targaryen must understand this to be king or queen. I'm sorry, Rhaenyra. I have wasted the years since you were born. One thing for a son. Let's go. It is gonna be her. I think she's the right choice, though. She seems smart. She seems resourceful. Just seen a little bit of her, though. Damon is your heir. Damon was not made to wear the crown, but I believe that you were. Call it Lord of the Tides and Master of Driftmark. Once again, the editing is so well done. If this is the first episode, I can't imagine what we're going to cover in this season. This is no trivial gesture. The Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. Lord Hobart Hightower, Beacon of the South, Defender of the Citadel, promised to be faithful to King Viserys and his named heir. Loved that shot of her standing there. Her outfit is really cool. And shout out to Viserys, he's pretty wise. I can't tell if that's the actress I think it is. She's always been kind of in darker scenes. Her name's like Sonia or something. She's in Alice Garland's films. Egon looked across the Blackwater, saw a rich land ripe for the capture. But ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. It was a dream. Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. Just to begin with a terrible winter gusting out of the distant north. I, Rickon Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Yo, Rickon Stark, what unexpected. I assume he's talking about the events of Game of Thrones here. Unless we actually get another winter in this show. You hear my name, Rhaenyra Targaryen, Princess of Dragonstone and heir to the Iron Throne. Man, I feel like even though she's not queen yet, there's gonna be people coming for her who want what she's got. And that's who directed it. He's one of the best directors of the original Game of Thrones. No wonder everything looked so incredible. And love the original theme coming back too. What a way to start the season. And the show for that matter. Hey, it was Sonoya, if that's how you pronounce her name. She's a good actress. That's cool that she's in this. But I really don't have any issues with anything in this episode. I thought from start to finish, it was really excellently done. The visuals were so well done. Just peak Game of Thrones type stuff. The performances were excellent by everybody. And the story feels very interesting as well. I would assume it's maybe the king dying eventually, Viserys, and then her rising into the position of the throne but as i was talking about before if this is new material and not centered around anything in the books i feel like the show could go any which direction but if it is based on the books, since I haven't read them myself and I don't know all the history, definitely don't share anything that could potentially be spoilers because I'd like to discover it in the show. But very curious to see what other people thought of it. I hope because of how angry people were with season 8 of Game of Thrones, they don't just carry that hatred over to this show since it's something separate because so far I personally am really really impressed and so I'm super excited to see what we get into in this season. Season. Game of Thrones is back, man. It is going to be so tough waiting week by week and then presumably a year or more between seasons if it does get multiple seasons because I pretty much binged all eight seasons of Game of Thrones because I started super late and finished after the show had already aired and so I didn't have to wait for any episodes or seasons to come out and so this is definitely a different experience for me having to wait but it's gonna be kind of fun watching these characters develop and this world develop in real time with everybody else and as I mentioned in the episode already in just one episode they've done a great job at making me attached and interested in these characters because they all seem to have very interesting backstories and aspects to their different personalities and there's already been a decent amount of conflict introduced and even though he may be a rash person Damon and maybe cast out he could still be 100% right that everybody else in
in Viserys's council could be kind of coming for him and just wanting their own things, their own objectives. It's certainly been the case in Game of Thrones where everybody kind of had their own objectives and the king was never truly surrounded by a bunch of friends or queen for that matter. And so hopefully nothing terrible happens, at least to Rhaenyra because I like her character so far and obviously being so young definitely a hard world to be in especially with that responsibility and just from the little introduction we've gotten to Viserys he seems like a fairly reasonable person at least compared to some of the people in power we've seen in the past and credit to him even though he was sticking up for Damon for so much of that episode he wasn't afraid to call him out and tell him off straight to his face in the end when he was acting up and so it seems like for the most part he does the right thing although Though the situation with his wife was a bit sketchy I don't know how I would have handled that situation it's kind of a lose-lose and it was a major lose with him losing the son as well that was a pretty big shock did not go the direction I thought it would but I am pretty shocked that we spent the entire episode just there in King's Landing with everybody we didn't venture off anywhere else although if Damon and the other woman Woman that he's with I don't know if we ever got her character's name but if they have gone off somewhere else I would assume we kind of see them from time to time and I don't know if we'll eventually venture off into some other towns or anything if they start trying to go take territory somewhere else obviously that would be an excuse to show him but I'm just really excited for all the different possibilities we have with this show and with the quality with the visuals and the sound and everything just being so top-notch already right from the get-go I feel like we're gonna get some fantastic episodes of TV with this show and so hopefully you enjoyed watching along with me for this first episode looking forward to your thoughts on it and if you did enjoy watching along definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the videos out and as always full-length reactions are available on patreon link for that in the description below but until the next episode next week looking forward to seeing you all later peace Thank you.